Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I want to discuss about how can you install Laravel in your system. And also, we'll create one of the project. So for doing this, we have to do, we have to go to that Laravel official website and there is a documentation. And into the documentation, if you go to the getting started and there is an installation, okay. So right now, Laravel's latest version is running as a Laravel 8. And we'll build our total complete project with this latest version as a Laravel 8. And into the installation area here you can see there is a getting started with the mac getting started the windows and the linux so this all that functionalities is for laravel sale so laravel recently introduced one of the new package as a laravel sale so with this sale if you want to install it then you can install it rather than that the another option as installation via the composer so right now for this project i want to install laravel via the composer so if you click on here and you can see there's an installation via the composer and here for this project, I'm using localhost XAMPP. I think you already know about it. Uh, the XAMPP is the local server. So right now for this project, I will use this XAMPP and now I'm using that XAMPP 3.2.4. So that is one of the totally complete free software you have to do, I have to download it, that will be one of the exe file and simply next by next process and then you'll be able to install it. Okay, so after that install you will get this type of one of the pop-up box and here there is the Apache and the MySQL. So for this project I will also use that MySQL. So make that sure you run two of these, you have to run that Apache. I just simply started it and also you have to run that MySQL. So I simply started both of these. So now I want to do, I want to create one of the folder for our project. So when you install that XAMPP, then in your C drive, it is I have installed it into the C drive, you will get that XAMPP, this type of one of the folder, rather than I have created um, this folder as a local host. Okay, so whatever the name actually you choose. So I, right now I install that XAMPP in our this C drive and I just install it into the local host. And into the local host area, that is also as a ST docs. And stdocs is the main root directory of your local host. So whatever the things you will create, you can actually access it from here. So now I want to do for our DC commerce project. First of all, I want to do I want to create one of the folder and I just name it as a pro. Okay, I name it as a pro, that means a project three. So this type of one of the folder I want to create. And here I want to create one of the project by the Laravel 8. So make that sure you install that XAMPP and make that sure you run your Apache and the MySQL. Okay, friend. So here it's perfect. And also make that sure before you install it, make that sure you install that Node.js. So that is Node.js official website. It's pretty much simple one of the software. Here there is a current version and that is our L LTS version. So you can download it. So if you click on here, it will be downloaded one of the exe file. And that is simple, very simple software. So you have to install it. Okay. So when you install it, then if you want to check it that Node.js is successfully installed it or not, you can check it if you go to your command line into the common prompt here if you write with the npm npm and then version i want to check that versions which version i'm actually using so now you can see right now um that node.js i have already installed it successfully and now i'm using that node.js version as a 6.13.6 .6, which is perfect for me okay so you can check that npm version with this so when you install it then that will be actually visible make that sure you install that node.js okay so that also needed so now the question is that what is the node.js node.js is an open source cross-platform javascript runtime environment and library for running web application outside the client's browser so when you install that node.js you can able to access node.js all that library so step by step i will show you so right now i want to do i want to create one of the project via the composer so if you go to that official website the laravel that is the installation via the composer so if you, you want to install that come with the composer that is a composer um, get composer.org so first of all we have to do we have to install it and also the composer is one of the dependency manager of the php so that means if you install that composer you will be able to run some of the command line so in fundamental i have already discussed about that things with you so right now there is a latest version is uh, for the composer as a 2.0.9 which is very fast so i will recommend it to you if you are using that uh, composer one point something then you should update your composer okay so right now I'll show you like first of all there is a download option into the download option there is a command line okay so right now i copy it I simply copy this total command line and now I have already created one of the folder as a project 3. So now here I open the CMD and now I simply run it. Okay. 
so now it should be created two of this file so there is a composer setup far and the composer um, there is our composer far so and also there is an option for the unlink composer setup dot php that means here i want to do i want to unlink this file that means that will be gone click as enter and now you can see it's now totally gone so friend composer is now successfully installed so right now if you want to check it which which composer version you are using you can also check it so that will be as a composer you can uh, all directly access with the composer uh, rather than that is a hyphen and the v and if you, that means the composer version if you click as enter so now it will be provided all that your command line which command you will be able to use with this composer and also you can see friend now i am using the composer version 2.0.9 that means i am using that latest version so as I told you, Composer 2 is very much fast. I really like it so much. So make that sure you updated your Composer. So if you're using that 1.0.9, there is some of the command line I want to share with you. Like you can see there is a with the Composer V, you can actually check that version. That means there is a killer version. And right now when you're actually using that Composer 1.0.9 or something like that, then if you want to update it, you can update it with this command as a Composer self update. Okay, so when you run it automatically, it will be updated. And if you want to run it specific with the two, then you have to do you have to run this one. That means the composer self update double hyphen two. That means automatically it will be updated your one version to the two version. Okay, so that is actually the another command line. So if you want to uh, update your composer, you can update directly with this um, command. And also there is another one as a composer self update rollback rollback means it should be actually going back that means right now i'm using composer version 2.0.1 so if you want to go back to the previous version as a one point something then you have to do you have to run this command then automatically it will be rolled back to your previous version okay friend i hope this uh, all that command will help you a lot so right now it's perfect so i have already installed that composer and now i'm using that composer version 2.0.9 okay friends so now i want to do i want to create one of the project by the composer so now go to our um, official website and here you can see there is a composer create of project laravel so now i simply copy it and then here so that is actually our project directory so i have created one of the project directory as a pro3 right so that is actually our project directory so now i simply paste it okay so here um, i copy it i copy this one and then here i paste it so friend that is actually the composer create project live laravel laravel and that is a exam example app so that will be your project name so right now i want to do i will create one of the e-commerce projects so better i want to name it as e-commerce okay i want to create one of the our project name will be as e-commerce okay so this type of one of the project uh, folder i want to create and now if you click as enter so now it will be downloaded all that file very fastly <laughs> from to the internet okay so you can see it's now perfectly downloading and also it's created one of the folder name that means our project name as e-commerce right friend so friend uh, make that sure you are connected with the internet and also it will be take some of the time so better when it will be done then i will come back again here you can see friend our project is now successfully done that means it's now successfully created our project so that is our project right so that is our project and here you can see it's downloaded all that our file perfect so now if you want to use it uh, now there is another instruction you can see there is a cd cd means that as you look actually the change directory of our project okay that means if you, if, if you want to change that directory you can change it like here right now i have i want to do i want to change that directory so that is our pro 3 that is our pro 3 folder and with the pro 3 folder i want to change that directory pro 3 to the e-commerce folder so now right now if you want to do that work that is actually the cd that means the change directory and our uh, project name our project folder name as e-commerce okay now click as enter now you can see it's now automatically changed that directory as a pro 3 and the e-commerce and then that is our project and then you can also um, directly go to particular this area and here if you open out uh, the cmd now you can see it's now uh, redirected to our this uh, specific folder okay so right now it's okay with me and after that i want to do i want to run our php artisan surf command so here if you want to run it 
then it should be actually providing you one of the server access link so now i want to do i want to use that php artisan and then serve okay so right now i simply run this now click as enter now you can see friend that is actually our development server so right now if you copy it and now i want to do and to run it i paste it click as enter yes you can see friend our laravel project is now successfully installed so right now our laravel version as a 8.26.1 and i'm using php version as a 7.4 okay so in fundamental i have already discussed about that things with you here i have already run that uh, mysql so when you run it when you install that xamp if you run with the local host click as enter and here you can see there's a welcome XAMPP for Windows that is actually our version. If you go to that PHP my admin that will be our SQL version. If you go to that PHP info and into the PHP info here you can see right now I'm actually using PHP version 7.4.11 right so make that sure you updated your php version minimum 7.3 to the 8 whatever you actually choose okay so right now it's okay with me i'm using 7.4.11 and also there is a php my admin so if you go to that php my admin that is actually our total database so here we'll create our database okay so database deleted everything i will create on particular data area as i told you for this project i will use that mysql so which is perfect for me so here we successfully created our project i hope it's very much clear to you so now i want to do here we don't need this and also here we don't need this so that is our project and i want to do um that is a clear project right so for this course i want to use that sublink text editor you can use that visual code editor you can use that atom whatever actually you choose right now for this uh, project i want to do and to use this sublink editor okay so that is one of the editor and that is totally free you can download it from the google so there is a sublink text editor one of the official site from here you can actually download it and then simple install it okay so right now first of all i want to do and to um take our total project in our this uh, sublink text editor so it's drag and drop so i just simply uh, paste it on here and you can see all that project now we can actually able to access it from here okay friends so right now we successfully um, created our project and i have created our project name as e-commerce project and we install that laravel in our system perfectly so friend in our next video i want to discuss about how can install laravel authentication okay so for the authentication i will use that laravel chat stream so how can install laravel default authentication system in your project in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video